In today's video, we'll explain the crossover point, a critically important concept for achieving financial independence and for escaping the nine to five grind. We'll certainly unpack more details as we move throughout this video, but in simple terms, the crossover point is when the income that you generate through your investments is able to cover your living expenses. At this point, you technically no longer depend on paid employment to cover your monthly costs. Reaching the crossover point means you've reached financial independence, a place where your passive investment income is sufficient to indefinitely sustain your lifestyle. But where does the crossover point come from? And more importantly, how can we calculate the crossover point for our specific financial situation? The concept of the crossover point is widely attributed to Vicky Robin and Joe Dominguez, who wrote the very influential book, Your Money or Your Life. This book is an absolute must read for anyone who's feeling a little bit burned out with the nine to five grind or for anyone who's generally interested in taking control of their finances to increase the freedom in their life. In a nutshell, to calculate your crossover point, we need to keep track of three items, your household's monthly income, your expenses, and the value of your investments. Income, expenses, investments. The authors of Your Money or Your Life recommend that we build, that we create our very own wall chart where we track our progress to reaching financial independence. The wall chart is a graph that tracks in one place the evolution over time of the three items I just mentioned. Here we can see a theoretical case study with the monthly household income, which is depicted in blue, the expenses in green, and the potential income that could be sustainably generated by their investments in purple. And this one is a little bit trickier, so I'll explain in a second how to calculate it. And from this third purple line, I mentioned potential income because we're not touching anything from our investments. We're not spending anything here. The purple line is just keeping track of how much you could theoretically withdraw from your investments in a sustainable manner to cover your monthly expenses without fear of depleting your portfolio. This wall chart is a one-stop representation of your family's financial journey, going all the way from financial dependence, so having no investments, no ability to generate income through your portfolio, all the way to reaching the crossover point. Over time, if you manage to keep a reasonable savings rate, in other words, a good distance in the chart between your income and your expenses, your investments will start to slowly grow and compound until finally the purple line representing your potential passive income has caught up with the green line representing your expenses. And this is the magical crossover point. At this point, you've reached full financial independence and your portfolio of income generating assets could produce sufficient monthly income to sustain your monthly lifestyle without need of depending on paid employment. So I think everyone can figure out how to keep track of their monthly income and expenses. It basically boils down to being disciplined. Keeping track of these numbers on a monthly basis does sound boring, but it really just takes about 30 minutes at the end of each month. Think about it for a second. 30 minutes a month is the small price to pay for tracking and optimizing your finances and carving a path to financial freedom and to potentially dropping the nine to five grind. In the description of this video, I'll leave a simple Excel sheet template that you can use to record this information. Also, if you're new to investing, you'll also find a recent video that we did covering the basics of investing, specifically on the benefits of investing in low cost, highly diversified index funds. All right, so assuming that you're investing the difference between your monthly income and expenses, you'll start accumulating an ever-increasing investment portfolio over time. The purple line in our figure represents 4% of your investment portfolio. Let's use a simple example to clarify the concept. Let's assume that you have $100,000 invested in an S&P 500 index fund, then 4% of 100K is $4,000 a year or $333 per month. If your portfolio had reached 100K in August of this year, then you would go ahead and record $333. The 4% rule isn't arbitrary. It's based on the 4% spending rule that's widely used within the personal finance space to determine how much you can spend sustainably in retirement without fear of depleting your investment portfolio. And as we've covered in a previous video, there certainly is a lot of nuance surrounding using a 4% safe withdrawal rate. But for now, for the purpose of this video, for explaining the crossover point, let's just assume this 4% is a ballpark figure. So there you have it. Track your monthly expenses, your monthly income, and the potential income that you could generate from your investments. And you're all set to monitor your pathway towards achieving financial freedom. The key to reaching the crossover point quickly is to optimize as much as possible your savings rate. In other words, the percentage of your take-home pay that you're able to save and invest. 
And you can do this by either increasing your income or normally an easier approach, being more frugal and mindful of your expenses. All right, if this video left you fully motivated to work towards achieving financial independence, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and be sure that you fully understand the 4% rule, which we covered in a related video. Remember, you can always find more detailed versions of these videos in my blog, which I'll link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.